hey guys let's move on to our next topic our 17th topic this is about excel running excel in the background so you must have used excel application scope you must have used workbook activities but are you aware there's a property which you can enable or disable whether to run it in the foreground or to run it in the background are you aware of that this is very important one and i got this uh, inspiration from this question this question is slightly different i am going to talk about that but let's focus on uh, how do you run excel in the background okay now i have already created a video if you have already seen that it's well and good if not please do spend a little time to watch it if not i am also going to explain that excel automation background ui path okay how do you configure excel to run it in the background so it is a pretty simple one re relatively pretty simple one i'm going to show you so for that what you do simply type excel application scope ui path okay and then uh, this is the docs for excel application scope so there is a property so are you aware of that property okay if you are aware just comment it so the property is visible okay there is a property called visible i am going to show you let me while that is loading in the excel application scope there is a property called visible okay and this property can decide whether your excel to run in the background or to run in the foreground this is such an important property and many may not really pay attention to it okay but such an important property i am going to talk about that so here this excel application scope i would recommend you to go through the entire page because nobody knows where the question would come from but again one of the important property that i have highlighted while i was studying so what is this when selected the excel file is opened in the foreground when you by default when you drag and drop this excel application scope by default this visible option is selected that means it is going to bring the excel in the foreground okay so that is the definition and then uh, when it is cleared when you uncheck it all operations are done in the background okay so let's have a practical look at it if you don't like to design if you would like to simply watch it on the video it's fine all 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 it is required is for you to understand the property and its nature so what i have done i have created a build data table and i am simply writing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay simply putting some numbers all right and then this is getting stored in the dt1 and i'm using a excel application scope pointed to an excel file and writing in one of the sheet that's it okay so what i have done here i have made it visible okay and this property you can easily view it only when you, you know try to run it okay in the debug uh, i did not find it very consistent so what you can do is uh run the file okay that's because it's in sequence so i'm running the file we will see how um, you know now the visible option is enabled that means it should bring the excel in front of me okay it might happen for an instance of time so pay attention it could quickly happen and go okay so please pay attention on my screen okay okay so the automation has started see see see, see. right now it has come okay so it has written the data and it is going to close the file also so that is the property of the excel application code it will open and close it so now so this has become a foreground automation if i have to do it in the background look at how this is going to behave so i am going to uncheck this okay save it and let's run the file so last time it has opened so this time the execution will complete but again it won't open that okay so i'll tell you when the execution starts on my taskbar so the execution has started okay done okay so did it did, did you see the excel file this time no you could not see the excel file coming in the foreground it is happening in the operating system but it did not come and disturb you okay so th that is what if you put a for each loop and try to write one 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 word then you would see a bigger difference but it's okay you you have understood the usage of this property okay now let's go back to that question which inspired me to really talk about this topic um, so what is this let's read it and let's see who can answer it okay a developer created a process to capture caller data from call center application and remember during your exam as i said i did a mistake i have scheduled it in the midnight and I, my eyes were tired i was reading the question by going very near to the screen 
and then um, you know i was not able to focus so remember you put a proper schedule first thing and then you should not spend too much of time in reading the question several times it should happen in one flow so your, your focus has to be there okay that is very important so a developer created a process otherwise what would happen otherwise you will spend entire two hours just to uh, answer all the questions okay it will take a lot of time for you to answer the question so if you pay focus you can complete it in lesser time and you will have some time to revise what you have really which are the answers that you have selected okay you will have that time to go through review your entire set of answers so let's read this okay a developer created let's have a practice of reading in one go a developer created a process to capture caller data from a call center application the process designed to help a call center employee enter details about a call into an excel sheet for instance when an incoming call is received the employee starts the attended robot the robot contains four sub processes okay search for the caller by caller id using http request and retrieve the data such as name address okay so http request will happen in the background save the retrieved caller information in excel sheet this can also be done in the background that visible property which i spoke about in a web application create a new history entry for the caller there is a web application where it has to create a ticket uh, upload the excel sheet and then submit the form then go and hit on the submit button uh, send a microsoft outlook email uh, with the uh, with the confirmation so this can also be done okay so for excel uh, for excel sheet you can use a workbook activity anyways it's going to work in the uh, background right you don't need an excel file excel application to be installed so it will anyways will happen in the background so this all these four things can be actually can happen in the background but this one web application we don't know so here the question is which sub process requires modification to some of the properties default values property default values let's say when you are using a click or type into so the default is what what is the default one the default is it has to do it will use your mouse hardware driver to move the mouse and click on it right so the, which is a foreground process so what you have to do to ensure it runs in the background so that means you have to make it you have to go either for a simulate click or you have to go for a send windows message right so the answer would be three for this so i told you what is important for you to learn in the excel application scope and also you got an answer to this question so thank you guys let's meet in our next content bye bye